Hi, I'm Kathy Mills, and this is Community Connections. Ask people who have children or grandchildren where they think the heart of the community is, and they may say their local school. The Holton District School Board has 84 elementary schools, 19 secondary schools, and serves over 60,000 students a year. There are lots of different program areas, but a key one is fundraising. And again, you may be familiar with the fundraising that happens at your local school. But did you know that the Halton District School Board also has the Halton Learning Foundation, which is a fundraising arm of the board that serves all of our schools. Today with me, I have Pat Wright, Executive Director of the Halton Learning Foundation. Welcome, Pat. Well, thank you for coming. I'm glad you were able to see us today. Well, we want to learn more about the foundation. We want to know what are you serving in this community that we often think of as a very affluent community? Well, I think we all look at Halton as a very affluent community, but over 10% of the students within the Halton District School Board live below the poverty line. That means we have students who are coming to school who aren't fed, who don't have appropriate clothing, who can't participate in gym class because they don't have running shoes, who can't go on a school trip because they don't have the $5. And it's really important that all students have the same opportunities to participate in education, especially in Halton. So how do you allocate the funds? We have a program called Barriers to Learning, and through that program, a principal or a social worker at the school can apply for up to $250 for each student in need. It's very simple. The program is administered very quickly. Principal or social worker sends a request to us first thing in the morning, every day, and we reply within 24 hours. We then arrange that we can grant up to $250 per student, but we can grant some additional resources um, depending on the circumstance. And then we leave that to the social worker or the principal at the school to administer those funds. So Pat, you, you administer a lot of funds, you serve a lot of needs. Where do the funds come from? We work really closely with our community partners. It's really important for the community to understand that they can have a major impact on the lives of students in Halton. So tell us one success story. Oh, there's so many. It's just amazing. We had a student, uh, we had one case where Sam, this isn't just, it's not their name, but her family left the area and left her here. She was in high school had to find a place to live and wanted to continue. She was in grade 11 and wanted to continue her education. So the principal approached us. We were able to provide additional resources. She was able to have a part-time job, but also was able to stay in school and graduate. That was the most exciting thing, to think that somebody would leave and leave a child at that stage by themselves. That is an extreme case, but we had another case where a student was at school and the teacher noticed that they hadn't been there for a few days. And so she called and she said she couldn't come because she and her mother shared a, one pair of shoes and her mother was out job hunting. And so she didn't have a pair of shoes. A re what a small barrier to coming to school. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it has a huge impact. Those are great stories. I know there are dozens of them. Yeah. And you must find the work very gratifying. It's important work. Yes, it is. And it's really important. I think all of us think about, and you all think about your children and about going to school. Education is the best thing that any student can get, and especially students in need. And if we can make sure they all stay in school, they all graduate, that is a big success. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And that's building a healthy community through community connections. If you want to know more about the Halton Learning Foundation, visit them online, haltonlearningfoundation.ca. Join us next time.